AppScript allows us to perform complex automations in Google Sheets, but you need to have an understanding of basic JavaScript to get it to work properly. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to pull variables from a sheet into AppScript and then use AppScript to alter them and output a variable out into the sheet itself. So I'm going to start off by going to AppScript and I'm going to start off by showing you a really key functionality of AppScript, which is the log. And the log helps us debug our AppScript code. So I'm going to make a function called make log. And within this function, I'm just going to output a log. So this is logger.log. This is how we do um, outputs to the log. And this is the same as console.log in JavaScript. So I'm just going to put a string in here to show you how it works. So I put a string in there, going to save this, and then I'm going to run that function make logs. And that comes out with our string. I can do the same for an integer. And strings and integer are the two variables we're going to be looking at in this video. And that outputs a log there. So first, I'm going to show you how how to declare variables in JavaScript. And this will be used in every app script you ever run. So two ways to do this, let and const. We're going to start off with a variable name first name. So let first name equals quotes Adam, and that's a string. A string is surrounded by quotes. And then I'm going to logger.log this first name back out into the console and end that with a semicolon. And this will come out with Adam in the log. For numbers, it's the exact same. Let age equals 45 you don't put the quotes on it and that's a number I'm going to do a const birth year as well just to show you the difference between let and const I normally use let for all my variable declarations but just want to show you what's the difference between the two so I've an age which is a let age and I can reassign that by doing age equals age plus one and this will add one to age I can just show you that in the log and that is logged out 46 what I can't do a const which you might know from the name because because const is a constant I can't change the const so that's the difference let you can change const you can't so I'm going to let surname equal to grant and then I am going to let full name equal to first name plus last name and this is how you do concatenation in strings I'm also concatenating a space between so first name plus space plus surname and then I'm going to log that out to the console and then you can see the adam.grant is the new name for this full name and that's logged out into the console. So that's just showing you how to do it in JavaScript. Now we're going to use this in AppScript. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get something from the sheet itself. So I'm going to do a let sheet and this is just to show what sheet this is coming from. So that's equal to spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. So that's the spreadsheet that we're on, which is bound to this app script and then we're going to dot get sheet and then the sheet is going to be sheet one so this is just pointing the app script at an individual sheet and i'll give you a look at this here this is sheet one and we're going to try and pull some variables from sheet one so there's two ways the first one is by inputting a range so i'm going to let cell one equals sheet dot get range and there's two ways to do this. So the first one we can do it is a range um, location. So that's four, two. So four, two, we're going down four rows and then we're going across two columns and that's cell B4. And I can let cell value because I've given this a range now, but I actually have to pull this from the range itself. So let cell value equals cell one dot get value. And this will pull whatever's in cell B4 into the value. And I can just logger dot log that out to show you what it's pulling out. So I'm just going to run this and we're expecting to see 42, which is five in here, which is B4. And when I run this in the log after I accept the permissions, so we have to review permissions, then we go out and we just choose our account. And this will come up with a scary looking uh, dialogue, but this is fine because I'm the developer. I can go to this project only if I feel it's safe. And I've written this myself, so I feel it's safe. And then I've got five out there in the log. So it's gone into the sheet and pulled that five out. What I can do now is I can get another value in a different way. So instead of putting in these dimensions for the row and the column, what I'm going to do for my cell two and my cell value two is I'm going to put in the actual ID in here of the cell. And the ID of the cell is B5, which I'm looking for here in quotes. And I'm going to run this and logger.log this back out. This should come up with six. 
And when I run this, six is pulled into the log here. And then what I want to do is I want to change this value and then stick it back out into the sheet in, in a cell that of my choosing. So I'm reassigning cell value to cell value two plus one, and then I'm making a let output equals sheet dot get range and the range now I'm going to write back out to is D4. So even when you're writing back out, you need to get that range. And then instead of get value, I'm going to put output dot set value. So set value is my range and I'm going to set the value equal to cell value two. And I'm going to run this. And what this will do is that it'll take the value, add one to it, and then write it back out into the sheet. And you can see that six plus one is seven. We're going to do something similar with strings. So instead of the get range and then getting the value later, I can chain these together. So I can let cell one equals sheet dot get range dot get value. And that in one line does what we did in two lines last time. And this is getting the value from B6, which is a string. And I'm also going to get the value from B7, which is also a string. I'm going to name these cell one and cell two. And then I can create a new let and I'm going to have that cell one plus cell two. And then as we did before in the JavaScript, we're going to just put a space in between there. And what we're going to do is we're going to let the output again to the range where we want to put that. So again, sheet dot get range, and that's going to be D5 and then output dot set value in there again. And that is going to be set to my full name. And to do that, I just put full name in the brackets here. Again, I'm going to run this. And what this will do is it'll then write that full name out into the sheet. So this may feel, seem very simple, but this is the bare bones of anything we do in sheets with app script. What we're doing is we're pulling values from a place. We're going to alter those values and then we're going to probably write them out to another sheet or send them in an email or something like that. In the next video, what we're going to do is instead of pulling singular values, we're going to go and pull entire ranges of values. And there's some different functions to do that. I hope you found this video useful. Follow for more.